Remember to use the checklist provided in your 1.1 assignment for practice so that you know you are completing all the required steps. When you look at this assignment, it looks pretty simple and it really is a pretty simple assignment, but the checklist and the tutorial are going to highlight some of the specifics that are required. You're going to need your name on this assignment. You're gonna need the year 2022, and then you're going to add anywhere from seven to 10 words that will provide your teacher with just a good, fun background, maybe describing things that you belong to, or maybe just some favorites that you enjoy. It can really be anything that you would like to, to use, any kind of words that you would use that would best describe you for your teacher. Now remember, before you begin these assignments, whenever you begin an assignment, all of your work will show up together, all of your resources, your YouTube link, your checklist. But if you go to view assignment, it will separate the templates with the resources that are provided. So you're gonna go ahead and want to go to your You Belong template that's provided for you. And that would be in your view assignment. That's your task for here. To get you started, what I want you to do is go up to your insert, and I don't care if you're using your pencil, your trackpad, I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks here. Uh, but if, you're gonna, if you go to your insert, we're gonna to go to Word Art. Everything in this assignment should be done using the Word Art. I want you to see how easy this is. I'm gonna go ahead and type my name in here. And when you drop that in by default, it's just gonna be the same font for every, every Word Art that you would put in here. You can change them all at one time or you can put your words in and then change them at the end, however you would like to do that. But I want to show you some options here where it says, the option menu right here under format options. When you click on this one, you're gonna have these dots right here. And I want you to notice that this is your option menu, format options. Get used to looking for those little dots everywhere. Um, they are in every app. You'll see them behind pictures, various things. But whenever you see those dots, either if they're dot, dot, dot this way or dot, dot, dot up and down, like this one here, you have more options. So always remember that. What we want to do is we wanna show you an easy way under these format options. And there's some other things you could do that you might wanna explore. But I wanna show you how simple it is to do the size and rotation. I tell you in that task six to resize it by exactly seven inches. And I tell you to resize the height by exactly one inch. And then I tell you to rotate it, and you can rotate it using the 90 degree. I want you to just rotate it so that it'll be uh, vertical, and you could place this, move this over to the right. But notice how easy that is. Yes, you can rotate using this little rotate bar, but it's sometimes easier to understand that those options are pretty simple to do right here from your format options. Now I can take this, slide it over, and if at this point, you can change your fill color to whatever you would like. You can change your line color to whatever you would like. And you can change the font so that it's a different, we wanna use 10 different kinds of fonts. So I'm gonna change it to that one. And there is my original positioning for my name. Now another trick I want to show you when you're doing this, this zoom is also a really good tool for us to make sure that we know how to do this. I'm going to zoom out to 50% and then you can kind of see the alignments a lot better. If you want to move this, that works pretty sweet. Um, if you want to reduce that so you can see it better in your window. Get used to this zoom in and out. It's a great tool to help you to position things, make sure that you're using up that entire page. Remember your Command Z is a good friend. It will undo. Um, so you wanna make sure you know that one. And then Command Y will zip you right back to that original view. So your Command Z, Command Y, Command A will select everything. Those are two little helpful hints that we talk about in task seven. All right, task nine, if you don't want a transparent background, in fact, I want you to change the color. If you hold your pencil on your background, anywhere on your background, you'll get an option menu. 
that will allow you to change the background to a different color. You have to hold it there for a little while in order for that to, to work, but let me know or let your teacher know if you're having any trouble, but we wanna see that you could change that background color on this assignment as well, just to show us that you're really good with those pencils. All right, that's all you need to do. I do tell for this assignment, when you are all done, I do ask that you always leave a comment right here, private comment, add a comment to your teacher. All you have to do is just tell us what the purpose of the assignment or one thing that you learned. So I would simply say, I learned the option menu has three dots. Maybe that's something you really never thought about that before. Hit that air, that little airplane or the, the airplane to see that you're done. Don't forget to turn in. I know you're probably used to this from other classes, but we don't grade your work if it doesn't get turned in.